Yo, what is going on, everybody? Welcome to a new video. Today, I'm going to show you the best video settings that you should use in Escape from Tarkov. If you don't already know, I stream on Twitch every single day except Sundays. Link down in the description below. And if you like these type of videos, don't forget to subscribe and drop a like. Okay, so we are in customs right now. This is at around like 1 p.m. game time. Uh, you can see how it looks like with these graphic settings. And I'm going to show you which graphic settings I'm actually using. Um, this, is, this is with post effects. So if you did not see my previous post effects video, make sure to watch it. It's the one before this one. Uh, so we go to settings, we go to graphics. So my current resolution is set to my monitor resolution, the native resolution. It's uh, uh, 2560 by 1440. It's 1440p. So if you have a 1080p monitor, set it to the, the highest uh, native resolution you can. Screen mode is obviously full screen, so you get the highest amount of FPS. Uh, aspect ratio, 16 by 9 if you have that monitor. Leave it like that. V-Sync, turn this off. Overall graphic settings, this doesn't matter. I have it set to high, then I made it custom. So set it to high, go custom. And then texture quality, I have it uh, left on high. Uh, because you want to see as much as you can to see the enemies hiding in bushes and stuff like that. That's what I have it set to high. Shadows quality, I cycle between high and ultra, but since I got a new PC with a pretty decent GPU, I have a 3080, so it doesn't really matter what uh, G what graphic settings I'm using over here. Shadows quality, you can go high so you can see all the shadows. It's uh, clear for like night raids and, you know, factory and stuff like that where maps, maps are a bit darker. Go for that. Object LOD quality, I have it set to lowest because uh, I realized it gives you a a lot more fps and it doesn't really do much uh when you set it to high so set it to two overall visibility i found a sweet spot and i've seen a lot of people use this uh 2000 you can go up to 3000 but it doesn't really do much and uh, it kind of affects your fps a little bit so 2000 is pretty decent shadow visibility i have it set to 40. i've seen some people use like 70. i'm not really sure why i have it set to 40. there's no point uh, Anti-aliasing, I have it set to TAA because this game just ruins everything. Uh, TAA high is way too much. It doesn't really do anything. Uh, resampling, one times off is my, my favorite. HBAO, SSR, and anti or anisotropic filtering is uh, all off. There's no point of using this. It's just It ruins the FPS and doesn't really do much. Uh, sharpness, uh, the game is already pretty sharp. And uh, since we used our post effect settings, we did like a lot of, you know, you can sharpen stuff as well with Luma sharpening. I have it set to 0.7 over here, just because like there's no point of sharpening it even more. It looks over sharpened and it looks just kind of disgusting. Lobby FPS and game FPS are both maxed out to 60 and 120. And then over here on the bottom ones, make sure to turn every single one off. If you leave them on, it just, it ruins the game. I don't know why anyone would use these. So turn them off and you should be fine. This is how it looks like in the actual game. Welcome to Hell, as you can see right here. It looks pretty decent and you will have a lot of FPS as well. So if we go look at the grass as well, like you can see everything pretty nice. If you would like to disable the FPS limit that you have in Tarka, which is 120, you can actually do that by going to your NVIDIA control panel. I'm not sure how it is for AMD. This is for NVIDIA. Go to NVIDIA settings right here. Right click control panel. Wait for it to open. Once it opens, you go to manage 3D settings right here. Once you do that, you scroll down. You go to global settings. You scroll down and you turn off a V-Sync. You see this third a vertical V-Sync. I think it's set to on or fast. I'm not sure. Make sure to set it to off. That way you will unlock your your fps and actually see you know have uh unlocked fps in the game and not just locked to 120 so if you have a decent gpu you will go way over that uh make sure to turn that off restart the game and you should be 100 fine anyway guys that is it for today's video if you did like it make sure to drop a like comment and subscribe and if you don't already know i stream on twitch every single day except sundays link down in the description below make sure to uh, check out the stream i stream a lot of tarko as well stop in and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out and uh, have a good one. Bye-bye.